Hi, Devhorn here with WeBuyHouses.com and today we have a little uh, educational video on ListSource.com. We've become kind of experts, I guess, in this. <laughs> and uh, ListSource is a great service for pulling mailing lists. And today what we're going to do in this little uh, demo video is I'm going to pull a basic absentee owner mailing list for you guys. ListSource is provided by CoreLogic, one of the best uh, uh, most prolific providers of data to the real estate industry and uh, they uh, aggregate data from a lot of different sources like the counties the mortgage companies and uh, consumer credit companies and all kinds of folks to create uh, these lists so it's uh, about the best data we can we can get really from a, a national provider and, uh, like this so let's uh, let's jump into it we're going to create an absentee owner list now first thing I would tell you is if you're doing this and you plan on buying it uh, go through the process of creating your account and then sign on to your account before you get into it because you'll find if you go create a list and you get to the end and you need to create an account you'll create the account and list source will lose the list that you created uh, does it to, to us every time so you don't want to go down that route so create your account sign in and then do what I'm showing you so to start a list we just click on the build list button and you're into their basic interface their interface is a little bit confusing. It just has these tabs. People aren't exactly sure what to do. If you read the directions, it's actually not that hard. You do have to start with some sort of geography and you can have cities, zips, counties, radius stuff, all kinds of different ways. But uh, what we'll do today is we're just going to pick a city in California. It's gonna be uh, Anaheim. Let me find Anaheim. Boy, I can't spell Anaheim. There we go. So when I add that, what you're going to see is the first number. This is the top of the funnel, if you will. The big number is 62,938 addresses in Anaheim, California. And so that's all we're going to do on the geography tab. We picked our city. And now our goal is I want to mail to maybe 1,500 to 2,000 absentees in Anaheim. So let's go get that list. If I go into property type, uh, excuse me, into prop the property tab, what I want to select is the property type filter right there. Now, you can select uh, those that are appropriate for your search and for your area. In most cases, we are looking for the residential single-family residence. These are freestanding houses. And so our list just went down to 47,000. We're beginning to narrow down, funnel down to the, to the list that we'll ultimately purchase. So property type, uh, SFR was our first filter. For our second filter, you just go back up to this drop down and you pick your next filter. In this case, we're going to do equity percentage. If we're buying houses at 70% of ARV minus repairs, people need to have at least 40% equity in their house. So let's just grab those as a range 40% or more. And our funnel just went down again. We went from 40,000 down to about 20,000, 19,000, 36 records. And so those that you can see the filter starting to build up now, Anaheim, California, equity, single family residence, right? So the last one that we use is uh, total assessed value. Now there's other ones like uh, I think market value and some other ones, but total assessed value is the number from the county and generally what we're looking for is single family homes that are below the median value and so i'm not exactly sure but let's just say the median value in anaheim is 300,000. and so we're looking for houses on the left side of the bell curve if you will and so once again we've cut our list in half we're now down to 10,490 and uh we you know we're up to 300,000, at least 40 percent equity in anaheim and it's a single family residence those are the ones that we mainly use. If you're trying to get a list down to a certain size, some others that you might use while you're in here are length of residence. You could uh, set that to you know, at least five years or something. You could use last market sale date. You know, houses that were bought at least 10 years ago, you know, so, and maybe no more than 30 years ago. So there's other filters that you can use that can be pretty helpful for you. Uh, but basically, we just use those three property type, single family residence, equity percentage, 40% or more, total assessed value at or below the median value for the area. We're now down to 10,490 records. These are all houses, whether they're 
owner occupant or absentee owned the last tab that we work with is over here under options and this is where you can separate your owner occupants from your absentees and so all I have to do is click on the absentee button and what we're going to see is our number 10,490 drops to 1629 now these are both in-state and out-of-state absentees we generally mail to both I don't see a difference in motivation if you will just because they're out of state uh, in-state absentees are pretty motivated often uh, as well so uh, now if we kind of start back to where I started the video I was setting out to get me a list of 1500 to 2000 absentee owners in Anaheim California and I did it uh, it was as simple as that the geography is where we set the city the property tab is where we set equity percentage the total assessed value and the uh, do, 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 property type SFR and then the only other tab we use is options and we clicked absentee that right there is a pretty good list you guys they got equity the houses aren't too expensive they're freestanding houses and they're absentee owned by in and out of state absentees at this point you just come down here and purchase the list right there if you're already signed in to your account it will take you through the purchase process um, that's really it guys I hope this video was helpful for you uh, just following those simple steps you can use listsource.com to pull a great absentee owner list for your direct mail efforts I hope this was helpful I look forward to sharing additional videos and information with you in the near future and be sure to check out what we're doing at webuyhouses.com it's great to spend some time with you today take care